So the next video I'm just going to show you how to put it into 2D mode and how to make that work. So you want to go back to your home screen. We're going to go into job setup and we're going to stay on the same model but we're going to just change the mode to depth and slope. You press apply and then start. So now obviously we're not using a GPS signal, we're just using the machine and the components on the machine. Um, we've got no design model there to reference to so we're just literally in the middle of nowhere um, and as you can see by the display there's no background or anything there. So first of all we need to tell the machine which way it's facing. So as you can see you've got three little, little icons down here. The one that's lit up is the one that it's asking for and you can see here it's saying bench heading requiring, required. So that's the way we need to tell the machine that it's facing. It's quite simple just press the button and now we know which way the machine's facing. Now it's asking for our elevation. So we're at so just put the bucket where we want. Just give it a little bit of revs. So say we want to dig at that height and that's our piling mat or something and we want to dig continuously at that, that level. All we need to do then is just bench our level. And there we go. There we so as I move the machine now, it's going to tell me to dig perfectly at that level. So the next thing you might need is a fall on that. So say you're in a car park and you want some, a fall on that for the water to run off. If you just press and hold this one here, it'll give you uh, an intended fall. And it's just as literally is, if you just click it on level pane, so that's our level plane at the moment if you want it to fall. It's in degrees, so if you want 2 degree fall that way, or if you want to change that so that's plus or minus to fall the other way, you just change that. And that's good for batters, so if you want to sit on a batter and you put that into like a, a 80%, that gives you a nice really steep fall for cutting a batter. So you would need to move your machine to cut for the batter then. And if you look at it on a 2D sort of basis, you can see that that's a real sharp batter there. Um, and that's it. And just to remove that and you want to go back, just go to your job setup and go back to design and apply. And that's how you use 2D, 2D depth and slope. Thank you.